Do y'all want saucy footwork? If so, you came to the right video because we're going to talk all about... Let me get a chance to answer the question. It's a yes. Yeah, but... If you already clicked this far, this is a yes. You ain't got to answer for them. Is it a yes? If it's a yes, keep watching because we're about to work all backhands. And there's two footwork patterns that we got to zone in on and focus on and make sure that we master these backhand footwork patterns. Uh, and it's also just going to make you a better infielder overall because it's the idea that you need from this video is going to help you level up in other areas in the infield and also your life. Watch this video and learn some backhands for yourself if you want to be the starting shortstop for your squad, all right? Let's get it. What if I play third base? Boom. I come up here, it's going to be in this area. I have two options. Either you catch this ball where you're ready and you're presetting that shoulder so you can left toe that backhand and throw it, or it's one where you're going to try to pick it. Boom. But you don't have time to stop and you got to throw it. So there's, there's many variables to that. Obviously the way the ball's hit and the speed of the runner. So that's why we're practicing with these hurdles because I want that first step. That first step is important and that first step gotta be strong. Which takes me into a, a deeper backhand, right? So my first step is going to be boom, boom. And then I'm gonna try to get there and then I can let it, let it rain. Let's go. So the whole, the whole purpose is not just to get over it. It's to drive that need. So when you hear, you drive the need, and you can cover more ground. So the hurdle can be a distraction. Now the athlete's just trying to step over the hurdle. But here I am explaining the nuances of that first step, where the shin angle is involved, the chest angle is involved, amongst other things that will help you maximize that first step explosion. So make sure you guys incorporate that low chest and also driving that knee out as opposed to up. gotta do things the right way i'm talking about the principles of effort and consistency they got to show the effort show that they want to win but also be consistent with the movements that you're looking for you want to make better throws but when you feel the ball you flip it right back that's where i, I see the throwing position really helps just because that's that's the closest thing to throwing is to get ready to throw so you got to demand these small things and uh, honestly like once they got that down they started getting the athleticism part down and it's just that, you gotta teach these footwork patterns so so they become second nature. Uh, in the game, your body just takes over, almost like autopilot. No lie, it's been such a long time since I fought 315 pounds on my back, but and uh, I was one rep shy of my uh, my goal, but that weight felt great. Bars, we're gonna hit six reps on that, and we're gonna just consistent consistently improve and get better, so we can keep getting stronger. Okay, and I want you guys to do the same thing: battle and compete against yourself. So when it's time to compete against others, you're in a league of your own. Feel me?